Hello everyone, what's up? In this video, what I'm going to be discussing is how to bind user input with DOM events. For example, user is typing any input or giving any input, how to bind that input with certain DOM events. There are so many DOM events, but we will discuss only one particular DOM event in this tutorial, that is key up event. And also we're going to be discussing template reference variables. What are those and how to use that? Okay. So let's discuss that one by one. So let's take a form and inside that form, what we're going to take is we're going to take an input element in which user will give input. Okay. Or we can do is just delete this form. We're going to take a simple division and we're going to give that class a form group. Okay. Which will act as a form. Okay. Which is a simple bootstrap class. You can see this configuration in bootstrap official documentation and inside this division we're going to take is input element and we're going to give this class form control okay which is also a bootstrap class you can see its configuration and its function on bootstrap official documentation so yeah now our, our input is created and now i'm going to give it event that is key up which is a dom event which will always execute whenever a user is inputting or typing anything on that particular input okay so let's give a particular function inside key up event and inside on write function you can see we have given dollar event which is a built-in object that will store all the event information inside in its structure okay so now we're going to declare this function inside typescript file okay so write on write and in the parameter you can write event colon any because we don't know its type so just write any now we're gonna console we're gonna print it on the console let's see what happens okay so now everything is compiled let's open our browser and type anything so as soon as we type we see an event which comes up in console and all the properties that are associated with this event now we're going to go to target property inside the property we see there are so many other properties and we will find the value that we have typed so it is inside the value variable so now we will try to extract this variable well extract this value from this event object and we will show that value in the paragraph beneath input so let's declare a paragraph and inside this we're going to use interpolation and give it any name value so now in the value variable we're going to store that typed value which we have typed in the input okay so we're going to write this dot value equals to event dot target dot value because that value is inside the target property and the target property is inside the event object okay so now declare this value variable okay so now everything is done just save and compile it successfully okay wait a minute and in a few minutes it will be compiled so yeah, it's compiled successfully. Let's open our browser and see what happens when we type. So as soon as you are typing, whatever you are typing, it's coming exactly the same way in the paragraph beneath the input element. That means, yay, great, our code is working. But one disadvantage is there. We have given the type to event any, and it is doing implicit conversion automatically which is very costly to the engine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to give this event a particular type that is keyboard event. Okay. And we're going to do type casting to the event dot target. We're going to give this a uh, type HTML input element, which will tell compiler that try to convert this event dot target to HTML input so that we can use this value stored inside this target in an HTML template inside the paragraph. Okay. Which will optimize it. So yeah, in this way we can, optimize our code also our vs code will tell this html input element okay if in case you don't remember the exact syntax vs code will automatic automatically tell you as you can see you can just click over it and yeah now you can compile and save it okay wait for a minute yeah it's compiled okay now you can open your browser after successful compilation and see what happens so although you won't see any changes, okay, exactly the same thing will happen as it was happening earlier. But yeah, we have optimized our code, which is very good. Now what we're gonna discuss is we're gonna discuss template reference variable. 
that means we can give a reference to a particular element okay we in this example i'm going to give reference to this input element so how to give a reference you can just type hash and then you can give any name and in this reference variable this input this whole input properties will get stored in that particular reference variable so if you want to use it you can just simply write box.value inside the interpolation inside the curly braces so yeah, just save it and compile it okay so the same thing that was happening earlier okay when you were typing it will be it was being displayed in the paragraph same thing will happen right now also but in this example we have used template reference variable okay and the syntax i have discussed already just type hash and then you can give any name it's your wish okay so yeah it's working so in this way you can give template reference variable to a particular element and you can also use prefix ref and then dash and you can give it any name so yeah okay open your browser and let's see whether our code is working so yeah it's working exactly the same way so yeah you have learned template reference variable that's great subscribe for more videos